Hello and welcome to the adventures of Robert Wedderburn. Today we're going to be taking a look at an enormous herbivore that is undoubtedly one of the most majestic mammal species in the world, the southern white rhino. The southern white rhino is one of the most popular species to see on any game drive. There's no better place to see these ancient armored herbivores than in South Africa, which has more than 80% of the world's entire rhino population and 93% of the world's southern white rhino population. Today the southern white rhino is found all over southern Africa and also in Kenya, but this wasn't always the case. In the late 19th century they were thought to be hunted to extinction. Luckily in 1895 a small population was discovered in Lhlhlue Umfolozi Park in KwaZulu-Natal. At the time, there were less than 50 white rhinos in the wild, but thanks to the tremendously successful wildlife conservation project Operation Rhino in the 1950s and 1960s, this species population has grown to an estimated 19,000 to 21,000 in the world today. The person largely responsible for initiating this project was the late Dr. Ian Player. Southern white rhinos from Kihlue Mfolozi Park were relocated to other national parks and reserves all over Southern Africa. And wild populations were established in areas where they had previously been hunted to regional extinction. Operation Rhino is still regarded as one of the most successful conservation projects ever. They have a large lump on their back and tend to walk around with their heads lowered to the ground. They spend the day resting or feeding and are often found lazing around during the hottest part of the day. They have hair, but only on their ears, tail tips and eyelashes. They have large square mouths that make them powerful lawnmowers. This is the largest of the two rhino species in Africa and is the heaviest species of rhinoceros in the world. Males are slightly larger and heavier than females and baby rhinos weigh only 40 to 60 kgs at birth. Adult males weigh between 1,800 and 2,300 kgs and females weigh between 1,800 to 2,000 kgs. They are 1.5 to 1.8 meters tall and 3 to 4 meters in length and they can live for 40 to 45 years in the wild. The white rhino is also known as the square-lipped rhinoceros because of the shape of its mouth. Their horn is used to defend themselves and their young from predators and other rhinos. Males use their horns in combat to dominate other males. Rhinos also use their horns to guide their calves, forage and dig for water. The rhino's horn is made up of compressed strands of keratin, the same key material in hair, nails, feathers, claws and hooves. Females use their horns to protect their young from predators. White rhinos have two horns. The front horn is the biggest and is usually about 60 centimeters long, but can grow longer with age. And the second horn is a lot shorter than the first. To help combat rhino poaching, in many reserves and national parks, rhinos now have their horns trimmed every one or two years to make them less of a target to rhino poachers. Although this might have a positive effect on combating rhino poaching, males need their horns to show dominance and to defend themselves and thus make it very hard for them to challenge or combat rival males. Dehorning rhinos may also undermine the male's ability to defend their territories or status. It is an intrusive procedure and it is time consuming. It requires a team of trackers, rangers, vets, and usually a helicopter to find and dehorn a rhino. The rhino also needs to be anaesthetized during the procedure, which can cause complications while the animal is immobilized that could lead to death. This risk also increases each time the rhino is darted and immobilized. It costs around $1,000 to dehorn a single rhino, making it an expensive procedure to help combat rhino poaching. Around 7 cm on the front horn and 5 cm on the rear horn are left behind and unfortunately rhinos are still not safe from rhino poachers even after being dehorned. On the black market in South Africa, rhino horns can fetch prices up to $6,000 per kg and 5 to 10 times that price on the Asian black market. Their natural habitats include savanna grasslands and bush felts. 
Rhinos are extremely fast runners for their size and agile and can reach speeds of up to 40 kilometers per hour and can run much faster than the average human, but only for short distances. The southern white rhino is exclusively a grazing species and use their enormous square-lipped mouths to graze on large quantities of short green grass. Unlike the black rhino, which also browses and eats primarily from bushes and trees. White rhinos need to drink large quantities of water to digest their food and prefer to drink twice a day when possible. These gigantic herbivores spend a large portion of their day wallowing in the mud at waterholes to cool down and lazing about on open grasslands. Their frequent mud baths help to protect their skin from sun and from insects. They live in crashes or herds of mainly females and crashes can be as large as 14 animals. Adult males are solitary and take pride in marking their territory with large piles of dung and urine. Males also scrape their horns on bushes and scrape the floor while urine spraying. The white rhino's biggest and only predator are humans. Young rhinos have hard skin and spend all their time close by their mothers, meaning that they are almost never preyed upon by predators. Adult white rhinos have no natural predators and attacks from predators on adult white rhinos are almost unheard of. Females reach sexual maturity at the age of around 6 to 7 years and males at the age of 10 to 12 years. Females only reproduce every 2 to 3 years and have a gestation period of around 16 months. They give birth to a single calf and this calf is usually unsteady for the first 2 to 3 days. Male rhinos are called bulls and females are called cows. Young rhinos are called calves and a group of rhinos is called a herd or a crash. The southern white rhino is considered near threatened on the IUCN red list of threatened species. Although the comeback of the southern white rhino is one of the greatest conservation success stories ever told, in recent years their numbers have begun to decrease due to rhino poaching which still remains a serious threat for the survival of this species. The northern white rhino is critically endangered and there are only two old females left in the world both in captivity and are descendants of the last male northern white rhino named Sudan, who died in 2018. Thankfully though, earlier this year, scientists successfully created embryos of the functionally extinct northern white rhino and in August 2020, these embryos were artificially inseminated and transferred into a surrogate southern white rhino, but unfortunately this process was unsuccessful. If the scientists succeed, it will be the first time that a virtually extinct species of mammal would be brought back. These tremendous giants are extraordinary animals to see in the wild and deserve to roam the bushveld of Africa for years to come. Well, that's everything for today. I hope that you enjoyed this wildlife documentary about the southern white rhino. If you have any questions about rhinos, I'll be happy to answer them in the comments below. If you haven't already given this video a like, give it a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you receive further notifications about my wildlife documentaries. And I look forward to seeing you on my next wildlife adventure.